Hi, I'm Toshi Maeda, and welcome to J-Stories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve global social and environmental problems. Japanese NPO Table for Two is encouraging people to help solve global food issues simply by taking photos of rice balls. For each rice ball photo uploaded to social media or a special website, the NPO's partners fund five school meals, which are served to hungry children in developing countries. During the most recent campaign, 270,000 photos were uploaded by people in more than 30 countries, providing almost one and a half million meals. The project is named Onigiri Action, after the Japanese word for rice ball. In Japan, onigiri are a lunchbox staple and a symbol of love through food. Another of the NPO's projects is a Japanese-inspired food education curriculum in the U.S. called Washoku Iku. Through its various projects, the NPO has provided almost 900 million meals since 2015. Also this week, we talked to Nobuo Tanaka, a former executive director of the International Energy Agency. He explained how Russia's invasion of Ukraine is affecting European energy policy. 30 to 40 percent of Europe's fuel comes from Russia. Germany began phasing out nuclear power after the 2011 Fukushima accident and plans to close its last nuclear reactor this year. But it is now being forced to rethink that due to its reliance on Russian gas. In contrast to Europe, only 4 percent of Japan's oil is Russian, 8 percent of gas and 14% of coal. If Japan decides to replace these, it will not be so difficult, according to Mr. Tanaka. Meanwhile, as the West tries to escape reliance on Russian fuel, attention is focusing on new technologies. He argues that Japan should lead the use of hydrogen for clean thermal power generation. The international energy expert also suggests Japan help develop clean and safe nuclear technology that cannot be turned to military use. For more from our interview with the former IEA chief, you can check out our articles on the JSTories website, available in English and in Japanese. That's all for this week from JSTories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspirations from Japan.